The title is Showcase for a Changing Indonesian Culture. From the next slides, you will see why we, uh, the title is like that. Uh, you will see that uh, because of so many various uh, ethnic groups, ethnic uh, and languages in Indonesia, why it's, uh, to me, personally, it's a good idea, a very good uh, move to change the capital from Jakarta to this area. Next. As you can see, <clears throat> Ikain is not only moving physical buildings from one location to another one, but building a new work and culture, a new mindset and economic basis for Indonesia. The government have uh, thought out rightfully to set the purpose of moving the capital to a different area is to create Indonesia-centric development, not Java-centric development, which sadly ha uh, have been the focal point for recently. <clears throat> Next. For you <clears throat> who doesn't know where Indonesia is located, uh, we will show that in the map after this, but Indonesia consists of 17,000 islands. We have 34 provinces, we have 500 cities and uh, <clears throat> over 250 million people. Despite that, 58% of GDP is centered on Java. And 56% of Indonesia's population, around 149 million people live on Java. The whole point of moving the capital is to create economic justice, equality, and hopefully to evenly spread out development throughout Indonesia. Next. From, from the video that we are showing, you will see that the move is not a simple one because Jaffa is located, uh, sorry, because Jakarta is located in Jaffa. And, uh, and the new capital will be somewhere between Balikpapan and Samarinda, which is in the island of Kalimantan. If you fly from Jakarta to Balikpapan, it will take you about two hours. Which is, if you are in Europe, that's already from Amsterdam to Barcelona or Amsterdam to Athens. So that's far. <clears throat> so it's not only moving, like we say, not only moving buildings or building new cities, but changing mindsets. Mindset of people that the center of Indonesia will not no longer be Jakarta, which I, uh, everybody will say that it is still 
at the business center, like New York and Washington DC, I, I, I guess. Is the political center of Indonesia will be this new IKN, and business center will remain in Jakarta and Surabaya and Medan and Balikpapan somewhere, but it will not be solely in Jakarta that uh, political and business center is in one place. Next, <clears throat> the legal base for moving the capital is already there, uh, but uh, there will be a lot more implementing regulations that have to be issued, a lot more precedents that have to be done. Uh, because this is going to be a long-term project. If anybody is interested, <clears throat> we will do our utmost to give you the regulations, hopefully in English. Next. <clears throat> As you can see, currently the area is a forest, productive forest zone. Uh, mostly eucalyptus. <clears throat> so one of the big issues here is a thorough environmental study, environmental impact study on uh, developing the, 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 the IKN in that area, because the promise is that 70% of IKN will be a green zone. And it will be a carbon neutral in 2045 and zero carbon in 2060. So the IKN funding will be very interesting because I hope there's going to be interesting uh, funding opportunities and creative ones. There will be green bonds required. There will be carbon credits. Uh, so <clears throat> this is going to be a, a very interesting time for us lawyers uh, to help investors, to help clients develop this. Next. Okay, sorry. Uh, I mean, it's, the area is about 56,180 hectares, uh, but the total development area is almost 200,000 hectares. What I want to explain is the background of land procurement in Indonesia. Uh, land acquisition in Indonesia is one of the most uh, complex issues to be handled by investors, not only for foreign investors, but local investors also, because there's still a lot of land area in Indonesia which has not been certificated, uh, which means a lot of those areas are still either state-owned land or owned by uh, local people who have lived in that area for generations. If it's state-owned land, then there will not be that much of a hassle. It's uh, more or less clear cut to change it into uh, uh, to uh, right to build title. But if it's still uncertificated because uh, it was originally owned by indigenous people 
or local people who, who de facto have lived in that area for quite a while, that is going to take a lot of due diligence. Because we have to understand, we have to know who are the actual owners, who, who are the occupier of those land before it can be uh, certificated. Because those people have to be compensated fairly. Uh, otherwise, the process of certification will be held up because of protests and things like that. <clears throat> so that is that is going to be one of the most uh, crucial and critical issues uh, in developing IKN is to have a proper land acquisition process. Land, when it is already certificated, it will uh, generally for uh, like like any IKN, it will be a uh, right to build uh, because the land in Indonesia there it will it's the uh, certificated land in Indonesia is 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 uh, divided into several categories uh, ownership right of ownership uh, which is perpetual but only given to Indi Indonesian individuals. Uh, uh, it's like a fee simple land in other uh, in other jurisdictions. Uh, and right to build is similar to um, uh, uh, land lease rights. Similar because it's given for thirty years and extended for twenty years and can be renewed for another thirty years, totaling eighty years. And but the government <clears throat> already committed. They want to provide guarantee to the investors that they will be given 80 plus 80, another 80 years, which needs to be regulated further. And that regulation is, uh, is yet to come out. But my whole point here is that <clears throat> Uh, that land right to build will be given to the investors who are investing in that area, be it uh, building, uh, what do you say, uh, apartment complex, for instance, building uh, uh, office buildings or in the, in the uh, mixed use properties, uh, they will receive that right. But remember, because of horizontal principle of land in Indonesia that uh, right to build will be on top of uh, uh, right to manage uh, rights that will be given to IKN. Yeah. Uh, which means which means any owners, investors holding uh, right to build uh, certificate have to adhere to the uh, to the regulations which is issued by IKN for the use and utilization and uh, manage management of properties on top of the right of right to build uh, area. Okay, next slide. Here we can see, uh, which will be, how do you say, more elaborated in the website of, official website of IKN, which I will uh, attach to this uh, presentation later on. Uh, the authority that is currently, uh, of IKN that is currently uh, appointed. I'm sure uh, from you, from the CVs here, there are competent people, and uh, those are the people who are at the moment are the key 
to making IKN a success later on. Next slide. <clears throat> okay, as, as I mentioned before, uh, <clears throat> there will be follow-ups regulations that uh, have yet to come out, which uh, specifically detailing the authority of special regional government of IKN. Regulations concerning funding and budget, especially, uh, I'm, I'm sure there will be opportunities for uh, green bonds or uh, carbon credits uh, that comes in for uh, for investors that is going to that is going to uh, planning to invest in IKN. And uh, unfortunately, there will be more implementing regulations that will come up, uh, which we all have to follow up to make sure they are they are uh, streamlined to each other. Next. <clears throat> this is a bit bit information that we have gathered so far which uh, shows uh, enthusiasm from the investors and other countries to assist uh, the development of IKN in Indonesia. <clears throat> I'm sure there will be uh, more information coming up uh, after this, but uh, for the for the sake of this uh, webinar, we have gathered uh, up to date up to the second of December, uh, which is the date we, uh, where uh, when I uh, tape this uh, presentation. Next, <laughs> this is going to be interesting part of the discussion. The issues. I'm sure those who are already uh, experienced in dealing with uh, starting up or developing a smart smart cities will understand this. It's a huge undertaking to move uh, the capital. I, I think Malaysia has done it, which. Uh, have taken years to do. I think uh, Korea also have uh, tried to develop that and it's still ongoing, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so we see the potential issues now because, because <clears throat> and I'm, I'm sure there's going to be new issues that is coming up. Uh, I don't want to sound too negative, but as a lawyer, I'm trained to be thinking negatively for the clients. So, but on the other hand, as Indonesian, I'm I'm very proud to uh, to hopefully be involved in the development of IKN because Jakarta is already overcrowded is already over uh, polluted uh, traffic jams are occurring daily uh, so this will be for the near future this is going to be an interesting uh, interesting project for us to see that uh, the burden in Jakarta will be lessened, hopefully. So the potential issues are <clears throat> uh, the land use utilization agreement, which is normally made uh, for uh, a uh, 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 special zone areas uh, that, that uh, will govern land acquisition, 
within the Ikan area, and uh, <clears throat> and the rules of conduct for the investors inside the Ikan area, which have to be made carefully. Uh, that is one of the issues that we have to undertake. <clears throat> Second one, which uh, we have touched before, is that legal certainty that uh, the term of the land can be granted for 160 years in total. The mechanism must be clearly set out and uh, must be uh, legally tied. Otherwise, there's uh, uh, how do you say? Otherwise, there there's possibility that this can be reviewed. Uh, claims can be reviewed uh, by the Supreme Court regarding the legality of the uh, regulations. <clears throat> master plan have to be uh, carefully think over, not only on the uh, main areas, but uh, the vicinity of IKN to support uh, the, to support the, how do you say, to support the wishes of the government to make the area uh, to make Ikaen a, a green city. <clears throat> uh, as we have uh, thought over, and uh, the establishment of government offices and moving people to the government to the new city have to be done primarily uh, to accelerate development of the Ikan area and uh, logistical issues that have to be solved <clears throat> that have to be solved uh, for that for that reason <clears throat> funding long term funding from Indonesian government to the Ikan authority have to be secured have to be there's there must be political will to do that and <clears throat> one one other thing is the for the in, investors it has to be made uh, creatively also to attract uh, investors to 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 fund <clears throat> basic infrastructure have to be made well done Otherwise, it will be a gridlock again, like like Jakarta. The the sensitive issue is is uh, how to deal with local people with within the can area uh, wisely, because that is one of the most uh, sensitive issues. The next one, as like I have mentioned before, is environmental forestry issues. How to move, uh, what do you call it? If there are uh, endangered animals in that area to another area and things like that, that, that is going to be, that is going to be interesting to watch. <clears throat> the, the most current issue that we have are we have to consider is that the current president, Mr. Joko Widodo, will end his term in 2024. And uh, at the moment, it's still up in the air who's going to replace him and whether his successor will have this same idea and the same support to continue this project. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, in line with that, transfer of government officials from Jakarta to Ikan would also be a problem. 
because uh, people who are uh, used who are used to live in Jakarta might not want to move to how do you say remote area so called so to call I mean uh, at least in the beginning okay next slide okay this is this is the official government uh, website on IKN uh, for everybody to to be more uh, more informed on the situation of IKN when you can see inside that it is now green forest so so it's interesting to see next slide <laughs> Ah, thank you for listening to my short presentation.